7.15, all squared up, and we're off. So the plan this morning is to continue our way along this Cadridris Ridge. There's one more peak to come. We dip down, go up, and then we go down. We're off to a little town called Dolgefly. Um, I'm gonna get in there, there's a boots there, get some blister plasters, stock up on some goodies, toilet. Yeah, but that's 5.7 miles away, 833 meters down. As you can see, we're in the clouds. So, navigate carefully, concentrate, let's get going. Snowdonia Way, day two, come on. So cold. Less filming up here. Just gonna get across this ridge and get down. So that was my walk from across there up to that point and then all the way down here. Oh, really hard. Might have to reassess the plans. Um, maybe skip a couple of the higher sections. Just take the low road. Incredible. There she be. Dolgefly. The end of section 1B. That was tough. Really, really hard. It's taken three hours to get down from where I camped. Now making my way out of Dolgefly, Cadridris, still behind me. Wonderful town, everything you need. Much needed break. I spent about 40 minutes there faffing around. So a quick look at the guidebook and I've decided to take the low route option for the next stage. Stage two, Dolgefly to Traws Finnith. 14 miles. And although it's the low option, there's still 790 metres of ascent involved. The main bulk of it is going through the big forest of Coed Y Brennin, which is now part of it, a mountain bike activity centre. Brilliant. I went there with my son. Hello, George. Once we get through there, there's a Roman road as well, which will take us to Trolls Finnith. Let's do this. Stage two. <laughs>
Love it. We're on the Roman road, the San Helen, I think it's pronounced. This runs for quite some way through Snowdonia, but for us, it will take us to the forest and through the forest. Lunchtime is over and we're heading into the forest now. Nine miles to the end of the stage at Tros Finnith. Most of it, I think, is coming through this forest. Towards the end, it's meadows and farms. Once I get to Tros Finnith, it will be shop and pub. Get the guidebook out, make a plan of where I roughly want to be camping tonight thinking about the next stage as well. Do I go low, do I go high? It's all up in the air. But for now, let's get going and I'll bring you back when we get to Tross Finnith. made it to Tros Finnith and I've got to be honest I might bail in a lot of pain really really struggling to walk I don't know I don't know what to do sit in the pub Google make a plan I know if I quit I'll be gutted and wish I stayed ah, what to do Tross Finnith, done, shop, pub, beautiful, as soon as the amber nectar hit, I felt reinvigorated, I felt strong, so I'm continuing. I am taking the low path to the next section, so we're on section three, from Tross Finnith to Bevgelet, Bevgelet. Like I say, it's a low route. Look after these pinkies, because they are in a right mess. Don't know if you can make out that little footpath across the reservoir there, but that is closed. So I've had to come back out of Tross Finnith, along the main road, 
back down here. And the plan is, the power of Google, I discovered a campsite about two and a half miles on. So that's where I'm heading. I need a good shower, sort the toes out with my new Compede and Luco tape. And onwards we go on the Snowdonia Way. Hell yes. Let me get checked in, fed, showered, and I'll bring you back in the boudoir. Well, good evening. End of day two on the Snowdonia Way. 9pm. Little later than ideal, but I've been pottering about, charging things up, washed my t-shirt and my socks, fresh shower, well fed. Uh, tomorrow is stage three. We're going to take the low route. Still plenty to see. My toes, I will show you. Look away now if you don't want to look. So we got blister there. One there. A bit random. Big one under there. That's a new one today. But again, random sore point, blister, blister. So, yeah, I thought they were bad, and they are. So, low route tomorrow, and that will tee up the following two days, which are big Mount Snowden and the gliders the day after. As always. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.